Up next, let's see what the musical Waka is all about. After weeks of rigorous rehearsals and practice, stage play enthusiast Bolanli Austin Peters invites the media for a sneak peek into our newest musical production, Waka, off the back of our critically successful debut musical, Saro. She has assembled a cast of over 70 actors, singers and dancers for this new production. As expected, the pressure of raising the ante over the last work, Saro looks over Waka. I mean, I think human nature, naturally, you want to rise higher and higher and better. Um, it's there subliminally, you know, you, you want to put it there, but at the same time, you don't want it to affect your everyday um, activity, so to speak. So what I've tried to do is to banish Saru from my mind, like Saru never existed. Like, this is it. This is the first, right? So it is what it is. We'll do our best. But um, from the feedback and the reaction today, um, I think that we have something that is probably 10 times bigger than Saru on our hands. So. Uh, musical stage productions are actually finally finding their, their footing gradually in Nigeria right now. I mean, since the days of um, national theater when theater was booming, um, I think this Waka the Musical is actually part of that revival of theater. So in a very um, popular way, in a way that people can really, really relate to and hold on to, grasp easily. From the stables of acclaimed film and playwright Tundi Babalola from the October 1 fame, Waka chronicles the journey of six young vibrant circle of friends whose childhood fantasies disappeared in the harsh face of their growing up realities. You know, it's, a story, it's a story of journeys, the story of um, six graduates leaving school. So um, what I tried to do was to portray Nigerians and young adults, what happens to them and their sojourn after university. And through that, we're able to cover a lot of um, Nigerian stories. So we cover the political scene, because one of them gets into politics. And through that, we explore change. There's also the story of love and betrayal. You know, young girls um, leaving school, the love of their lives moving on to greener pastures as they grow old, and they realize really there's nothing out there. And those who are also in a hurry to leave Nigeria, always believing that the grass is greener on the other side. And then getting there, a, a medical doctor becomes um, unemployed and is busking and singing in the subway because it is what it is. He doesn't have his conversion exams. Um, so we follow all their trajectories and come back full circle to Nigeria and realize that, look, when all is said and done, Home is home, and we must make it work. Singer Shagun Dada played alongside on air personality Dolak Boni as the get rich quick Nigerian who seeks greener pastures abroad. <laughs> I'm still trying to transit into it. We have about a month left of rehearsals, so I'm sure by then I'm going to get the character on point. But Cassandra is a complete and utter nutcase. 
I had a dark boy is a lot. I'm quite subdued. I'm a bit more relaxed. Um, but I would say maybe the only similarity is that we go for what we want. And in this instant, Cassandra wants Ahmed, and she's going to do whatever it takes to get Ahmed. So I would say there are not that many similarities. I know it's going to make me super wealthy. Yeah, just how do you plan to begin that work? Time will tell. I just know. I'm super rich. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Keep dreaming. Look, I'm going to be the most successful. You watch and see. So you better pitch your tent to my camp before it's too late, baby. Yeah. Come on, hold on, guys. Hold on, hold on. Dolomi Amuka played the flamboyant, happy-go-lucky dancer Rex, whose cockiness tends to pain in the neck of many. <laughs> well, I think everybody has a little Rex in them, you know, a little, a little ex extrovert in them. Um, but it, it didn't take me too long just because I know someone like Rex. So I just kind of like tapped a little about his own life and just put it into the character. Oh, no, not one of your best. Oh, come on, guys. I mean, we all know Rex has nothing but his... So, I think we should take the bet because if he thinks he's going to be the most successful, we have to take that bet because I, Ahmed, I believe I am going to be the most successful. <laughs> Why? So, come on, guys. Because we are checking out of it. Oh, you're smart. <laughs> so, indulge me, indulge Rex. Bring it on! Bring it on! I'm ready! I'm ready! How much of Rex is in me? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I think I, I relate to Rex a lot. I, I, I know the kind of person he is. I think underneath the surface he's a nice guy, but he just approaches life through the, 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 the vehicle. You know what I mean? Uh, but I'm not too much of that guy. I'm not, I'm not him at all. I just, I like, like we have similarities, like he's a dancer, you know, he's a performer, I'm a performer. So it's, it's easy to just tap, wear those shoes and, and get out of it. Among this crop of young actors is the veteran Bimbo Manuel. Although the young ones look up to him for directions, he isn't very much a veteran in the singing department. You want me to sing for you? Please. Block your ears. <laughs> <laughs> but I do sing when I have to. It's not uh, one of my strongest points, but I do sing when I, when I have to, yes. Waka is a family-oriented, two-hours musical extravaganza with marches, acting, with dancing, and of course singing. The production boasts of original songs and covers of some raving pop sound in the country. Someone, I find 